For this pointwise exercise, I will be demonstrating how to create an unstructured domain that contains an interior edge. The example geometry I will be working with is a pipe inside a cube. You can see that unstructured domains have already been created on the existing pipe and cube database services. The goal is to create a domain on the front where triangles are populated inside the cube edges but outside the pipe edges. Refer to this example and apply the following steps to your own geometry. Since we are making an unstructured domain, the first step is to click on Unstructured on the toolbar. Before we create the domain, notice on the Masks toolbar that all entities are masked from selection. Since we will be picking connectors to make a domain, let's turn on Connectors so that we are only able to select connectors. Now we need to create a special domain. The Assemble Domains command on the toolbar can be used to quickly generate a domain if there is only one closed loop of connectors, called an edge. But because we need more than one edge to define the boundaries of this domain, a special domain is required. So go to Create, Assemble Special, Domain. We need to start by selecting the first edge of the domain. The first edge for this kind of domain must be the outermost edge. So select the four outer connectors to form the first edge of the domain. Notice that after I select the first connector, it is highlighted in yellow. Also notice the open circle symbols on both ends of the connector. When I select the second connector, the highlighting extends to it, and you can now see that the open circle here has changed to a closed circle. The closed circle designates the beginning of the edge and the open circle here designates the ending of the edge. Now finish selecting the other two connectors to create a closed loop of connectors. Notice that the open circle is now gone. This means that the outer edge can be saved. So click on Next Edge. Now the color of the saved edge changes to red. After the exterior edge is defined, we need to define all interior edges of the domain. Select the two inner connectors to form the second edge. Now in order for Pointwise to use its modified Delaunay method to populate the domain with triangles, the orientation of the inner edge must be opposite to the orientation of the outer edge. Since the orientation of our edges is the same, we need to click on Reverse Edge so that the orientation of the inner edge is now opposite to that of the outer edge. If the unstructured domain you wish to create contains more than one interior edge, add additional edges like I've shown you, and always make sure that the orientation of each inner edge is opposite to that of the single outer edge. Now save the domain and exit the command panel by clicking on OK.